Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today, yet another YouTuber is talking about switching to AMD, like full AMD build, and especially GPU, because that, that, that's a big deal for the PC market. By the way, like and subscribe to this guy, very cool channel. And me as a small YouTuber, I, I'm subscribing to everybody. I need inspiration. I need all the stuff I need. And I love it. I'm, you know, this is my passion. Anyway, he's talking about commonly quoted NVIDIA advantages. And you have a long list, you know, and you, you're familiar with this list. You know why NVIDIA is perceived as a better option than AMD. And then he's talking about why AMD is better. And basically, he says it's just better value. You get more performance for from what you get. But he's yet another person. He's saying that he's voting with his wallet that he's putting his money when his mouth is and he says like very nicely says that when you buy nvidia now you support what nvidia is doing you support putting ai before gaming that you support what nvidia did to evga how they squeeze in aib partners how they rise in prices how they make pc gaming unaccessible so and of course amd is not saint amd is following nvidia but you still vote with your wallet but he mentioned different things that i wasn't aware of as well like one thing is uh, mentioned about stable fps i've never heard about this and i think i know why i haven't because look this is nvidia this is nvidia look Look, NVIDIA got more FPS here because he's comparing stronger NVIDIA to AMD GPU. But even with you have strong NVIDIA GPU, stronger one, look, you've got more FPS here. But look at 0.1 FPS. This is like kind of stutters. So this one, even though it's got quite a lot less FPS, it's way more stable. Look at the graph here. I wasn't aware of that. And I think why this is happening. Because this guy is doesn't aim at the top end yeah he's he just bought 7800 xt not 7900 xtx and he doesn't have the top end cpu so not 13900k or 14900k from intel or 7800 x3d no he's got last generation 200 dollars 5800x non-3d this is interesting i wasn't aware of that and this i would never believe without seeing i wouldn't believe everybody knows that fsr looks the same on AMD and Nvidia, right? No, not always. Look at this clip. This is this is very interesting. Uh, so let's me play this clip. The Nvidia card really struggled to render it at a distance. This was by far the most noticeable mistake in all of the runs, whereas the AMD card did a much better job here in terms of rendering accuracy. However, many other elements within the scene were sharper for Nvidia while using FSR, though. So I was shocked. So what does it mean? Does Nvidia use FSR differently or there is some different reason why this is happening? Maybe Nvidia add more sharpening or less sharpening or different sharpening and FSR looks different. I hope, I just hope Nvidia intentionally doesn't make FSR to look worse, to make DLSS look better. I hope they don't play that dirty i hope it, this is just different settings like sharpening or something else or contrast i don't know because imagine people seeing fsr and being sure that fsr like i was sure i think almost 100 percent of people would bet like bet their house that fsr looks exactly the same on nvidia and amd but apparently it does not I don't know, maybe it's an AMD fault. So let me know. I, I don't know. This is weird. And that's not the only example. Let me show you another clip from here. Examples of Nvidia being sharper, but less clear. But going back to the color differences, this building is by far the most noticeable, which was just way too bright for Nvidia. Kicking the Nvidia card into DLSS mode, the sign that rendered much better for AMD now renders better for Nvidia. So yeah, DLSS still looks better. But I don't understand. I I've, I wouldn't believe without seeing. So this is fascinating. Uh, and yeah, very, very good video. Very good video. I, I highly recommend to watch this one. This is yet another guy talking about switching to AMD. And his reason was actually problem with 1490. Not the performance, because the performance is amazing. But he had problem with multi-monitors. Like not switching them off, not putting them to sleep. And actually, this is the same reason this guy is switching. Because he had big problems using multiple monitors. Like they, they didn't go to sleep, the monitors. They were like constantly on just with the black screen. Screen. and i think hardware unboxed has exactly the same problem with nvidia but that's not the only reason of course also putting ma uh, money where the mouth is and this guy here iceberg tech i also recommend to subscribe and like because he's a very nice guy and he does a lot of older cpu benchmarks and maybe some of you don't know nvidia drivers 
use more of CPU, of CPU power. And usually it doesn't matter, but it does matter when you use older CPUs, when you upgrade just GPU. And look, normal this GPU is stronger than this one, but this one gets way more FPS because, because of driver's overhead, because uh, CPU bottleneck. This is the same CPU, but CPU bottleneck hit harder with Nvidia. So think about this as well, especially when you're upgrading. This guy is talking about the same stuff. Look, he's comparing 480. This is very old AMD GPU, very old one comparing to the most popular Nvidia card at the moment, much faster 3060 with very popular CPU 3600X. Yeah, look, it's it's more, it's more here. And with another game, yeah, Hogwarts Legacy. This is very CPU heavy game. So that shows exactly what, what is the problem. Look how much more FPS you got on a way slower GPU, way slower GPU. Of course, not every game is like that. If the game is more GPU heavy and less CPU heavy, then of course this card beats this, you know, it's it for breakfast. And look, I've got very old CPU as well, very old. Very old means just two, two generation old. I've got this one here, which got the same performance as here, you know, and I had to decide, am I going with Nvidia and get hit like this one guy, like this here, because this is the same CPU pretty much, the performance wise, look, it's the same, it's very, way more expensive CPU, but the performance is very similar, the gaming performance similar, so I could get 4090, imagine that, 4090 for almost double the price of AMD 7900 XTS, double the price and less FPS, because I wouldn't upgrade a CPU, imagine that, imagine the pain, and I, I'm sure a lot of people made the, well, being unaware, made this mistake, upgrade to Nvidia and had less FPS that they could because of CPU bottleneck. Very painful. Another guy uh, talking about switching to AMD and he said the same thing, putting money where the mouth is, voting with your wallet, not supporting what Nvidia is doing. And now maybe there's some voices, you know, on the internet, actually there are quite a lot of voices on the internet saying, what are you talking about? Buying AMD is just buying rubbish. AMD is rubbish. If you want good gaming with stable drivers, you know, whatever the arguments, guys, even when you love Nvidia, when you are the biggest Nvidia fan, I'm not saying fan, but, but just fan, you know, like you think that you're using your brain and you know that Nvidia is just better because objectively probably it is better. Like 4090 is the best card on the the market however keep bashing amd and intel means you still support what nvidia is doing making amd and intel less popular meaning nvidia is becoming worse becoming more overpriced and not trying as hard to make their gpus better so think about this you know even when you hate amd and intel i think people not supposed to set too much bad thing and of course you need to be fair with yourself you need to have your own integrity when you think nvidia is better i think you're still supposed to say that but maybe not like fighting on internet trying to convince people at all costs that nvidia is the only choice if somebody wants to go with amd that's a good thing that's that's a good thing if somebody is switching from nvidia to intel you know and Imagine that, that somebody is Intel fanboy, and I mean GPU fanboy, it would be sweet, no? Because this is like funny card. But that's a good thing. If if we had Intel GPU fanboys, it would be good for the market, you know? Just think about this. And here you go, yet another guy. This is quite a big channel, almost 400,000 subscribers, like very big. And he's promoting AMD GPUs because he's saying it's just better value. I'm very glad to see that. I hope people start voting with their wallet as well. And I know that in do-it-yourself my market like when people make building their own pcs they choosing amd now the, the, this card is selling well all the new amd gpu selling quite well unfortunately that's still quite small part of the market and when somebody's buying a laptop this is only nvidia if somebody's buying pre-built that's only nvidia unfortunately still the mind share is still small but slowly i think slowly is changing like nvidia is pushing too hard the the level of greediness is just too high so yeah guys let me know what you think about this don't forget to like and subscribe and see you later